Hi friends, in the part one we have seen how we have triggered various mouse events and accordingly we have created the programs. Now let's see in this window we are just bringing the focus here and I'm, we are taking out the focus out. Again focus in. Now I am pressing a key. It sends which key I have pressed. A, B, C, whatever key I am pressing it's tracking that one. Now in the same way moment I pre press the enter key it says hi. So these all these events are uh, bonded using various keyboard uh, key press, keys press and focus in, focus out, all this. We'll learn all about this. Here is a template we are using. First, Kinter imported and uh, 615 by 400 geometry. This is the width and height of the window. Then slightly bigger font you have used. Here is a times 26 size and the normal. So that font I am connecting with different different wizards. Now first one is a L1 or a level wizard. So in this you can just we are written uh, to display given a distinct background by allowing the background color to be yellow then the font and we placed it on a grid at row 0 column 0. Slightly we are given pad X. So it's pad X 10 and pad Y. So it's from the left edge it is 10 and from the top edge it is 10 pixels. So the gap we have maintained. Similarly T1, T2 are two entry boxes and uh, this also row 1 and column is 0. So it is just below the label and T2 is below T1. So these are three uh, widgets we have used. Using this we will create our events. So just to see, check it how it looks here it is. You can see this no event is triggered, no event is programmed now. Let's create uh, the bind event for the window, parent window. So my underscore w is my parent window declared at line number 2. Now I am saying bind. What it will, which event? Now I am saying it is, let me put it here. It is, I am saying key. Any key is pressed, it, this event will be triggered. So what I am doing with this, I am just callback. My callback is my function, which I have not yet written. So I will write that. So this will call this function. Now here I will write my function. I am just giving define my callback. Now I will take the event here as argument. Now next one line only I will say L1. L1 is my label. Below you can see here it is there. L1 is there. So this L1, the text it displays is to display. Here it is. So this I am changing with the what the key is pressed. So I am saying L1 config. So here I am saying which one option I am configuring is text option. The text part that I am writing is you pressed what you have pressed. So that I will write it here. So for that I will say plus because this is a string I am giving event I am just entering event car. What car is pressed that I am triggering it here. So let's just see that how this work. I am just saving it running it. So here it is. Now, uh, whatever key I press it anywhere. So I am clicking this and pressing A. So you pressed A. Now let me press B. Let me press C. Let me press R. Anything. I press it. This button will be, uh, this uh, character is tracked and displayed. Now let's close this, open it again and without focusing on anything, is because it is binding to the parent window, anywhere this key press should be. Uh, should uh, track that. So I am just, I pressed in the blank area. I am pressing now Q. So then W. So whatever I am pressing the keyboard, the same is reflected. Because it is not binding to any text wizard, it is bounding to the parent window, my underscore W. So anywhere in the window I press a key, that is being tracked. Now let's bind the enter key. So whenever enter key is pressed, then we will give some message because there is no character representation of enter key. So what we will do my underscore w dot bind. Now here the key is written. It's actually written key. If you type enter as event, then it will be a mouse uh, entry event. We have which we have already discussed in part one. So here I am writing return return now what I will do I will just uh, create a one-liner here by using lambda the lambda now e now same l1 dot uh, config I am uh, configuring which option I am text option and I am saying hi 
so that's all the moment i okay let's see i'll save this running it again the window is here now i press the enter key so moment i press the enter key it's saying hi let's close this let's go for next one now what happen if it is a key press or key release now for that key press key release let's go to bind it to t1 that is the purpose this entry box we have created see here a t1 is there and one more entry is t2 below that so for that we'll first connect it t1 dot bind they are bounding and key press so i'm saying this is key any key is press now i'll say in here what i will do uh, i will trigger another function my t1 what my t1 will do is it will change the background color so now that will write it now what i will do i will come here define my underscore t1 and it let it re receive the arguments a g s okay so all the arguments let it uh, collect now here i will say inside this if len len means the length t1 dot get means whatever the uh, whatever the data is entered on the text uh, t1 the entry box length of that a len function will take the length of that so it is here is if it is greater than 5 then if it is greater than 5 then change the background color so i am saying t1 dot config now what i option i am telling is bg equal to let's say red now what happens else condition also will provide because if suppose you delete it bring it below uh, 5 then what happened then also then it should trigger and bring it to no, its original state so for that else i am giving t1 dot config now bg the original color is uh, light green we have used the same one we'll use fine so this if it is more than 5 then change it to red and if it is not more than five then make it keep it light green so that's the our concept now let's come to key press t1 now let's see what happens now key press and there is a difference between key press and key release key release we'll see next let's just run this and see why what happens how it responds now so sorry i think previous window is closed any error here no let me run it once where is my window uh, missing okay 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 so here i missed it key press why now let me yeah so what happens i am just ke keeping it here let us just see the function also function is here minimize let it come up okay so i am writing okay for our, our counting purpose i am writing numbers so you can easily track how many are three four five if it is more than five then only it should turn red so it is five so no problem but actually it will not happen six it is not happening now at seven it will happen why it is so just think about it now we'll go for the next one that is key release so i will just copy this key press and i will say key release now key release key here i will write it release now what i will do i will comment this one key press now i will see key release what this event is triggered on key release we'll see that now again one two three four five now sixth one here it, it has sense the reason is why seventh one key press is really uh, triggered and key release is the first the key press event triggers then the key is registered then key release is registered so what happens at this stage at the fifth stage when i am pressing six the key press is triggered but actually the key is not registered so it is not exceeding five whereas in case of key release this function uh, this uh, this triggers the function once the key is already registered so moment i pressing the six then it is moment 6 is already registered and the event is triggered on release so it is making it red that is the basic difference between key press and key release let's close this and we'll see now one more that is focus in so i will say t1 dot bind 
then focus in so what happens in the focus in here also I will go, we'll go for a one liner here we will say lambda e then l1 dot config I will say text equal to welcome when I am just clicking it in now let's just write the second one also when I am going out of it paste it here and focus in place of in I will say out and here I will say thanks now this is L1 I am triggering and binding is T1 note that both are binding to T1 so I am saved it running it so now moment I click T1 welcome and I am pressing tab now thanks so this is how the again I am pressing well uh, I kept the focus in T1 so it is saying welcome second is thanks so this is how we can do, um, monitor or trigger the keyboard events so earlier we have discussed already the mouse events if you are not seen this watch that also combinedly these two can be used for various applications that's all friends uh, request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post the new new videos we frequently do that and if you have any doubt suggestion question feedbacks anything use the comment section below to post it accordingly we'll change it please share this video with your friends and thank you for watching